Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Officers just hauled rotten Dem off Capitol Hill in handcuffs. It's about time. It's the end of Democrat debauchery in Washington D.C. As the lunatic left has come out of the woodwork to inflict revenge on the man they didn't want win the election. President Donald Trump has withstood every vengeful attempt from the left to take him out and now karma is catching up to those who thought they were above the law but have just found themselves on the wrong side of it. Trump has prevailed over all Democrats' attacks for more than a year, proving he can't be shaken from his position and will be their president for the next three to seven years. However, the derangement syndrome is strong as leftists refuse to accept defeat and Trump as their leader, and continue down their path to destroy him. This has now ended up in arrest for one Democrat lawmaker who has just been hauled off the steps of her state capitol in handcuffs. Now that the law has caught up to her, it will likely be a while before anyone sees her again. It's ironic that those who are lawmakers have a tendency to forget that we're a nation of laws, or simply feel that they personally aren't held accountable to them. This is also true of trying to give rights to people who haven't earned them and defending them for breaking the law, with specific regard to those in this country illegally. Democrats want to keep so-called dreamers here because they rely heavily on this invading army for their votes that will help them win in the next election. Former illegal alien turned state representative for Arizona, Isela Blanc, was willing to risk her own freedom for theirs by abusing her position. Now she's paying for it and can't expect that the dreamers she did it for will come to her defense. Arizona State Representative Isela Blanc was arrested yesterday in Washington, D.C. while protesting against the potential expiration of DACA, The Blaze reported. The lawmaker has been open about her previous status as an illegal immigrant, telling Arizona's Mason Independent, I'm not embarrassed about the fact that I was undocumented. I frankly got tired of people in this state, in particular, Republicans, telling my story, calling me a criminal, demonizing who we are and what we represent. Hundreds of demonstrators descended on the U.S. Capitol, holding sit-ins in the offices of lawmakers, blocking traffic, and chaining themselves to one another outside the Capitol building itself, the report explained. Blanc ended up as the shining example to all of her legal minions of what happens when you break the law, as she was handcuffed on the steps outside the Capitol by police for leading this illegal nuisance of resistance. She may have thought that she was creating a powerful political name for herself but must have forgotten who her president is. Trump doesn't stand for this anti-immigration attitude and will make her as irrelevant for defying him as Blanc's male counterpart who was arrested twice before for the same kind of stunt. Since then, America has seen a lot less of Democratic Representative Luis Gutierrez of Illinois. Gutierrez was one of the most vocal immigration reform advocates who came out of his hiding hole a second time since his first arrest outside the Trump Tower in New York City. He tried again to make a statement by doubling down on his depravity after Trump's travel ban went into full effect. Just as he should have learned from his first experience, he was arrested yet again. Democratic Rep. Luis Gutierrez of Illinois was one of the 200 protesters arrested on the steps of the United States Capitol Wednesday afternoon, the Daily Caller reported at the time of his second arrest. The sitting member of Congress joined members of the Service Employees International Union SEIU, as they stormed the steps of Congress to demand action on DACA. Both chambers currently are considering a bipartisan measure to replace the order that allowed temporary protected status to illegal residents nationwide. This was after he made headlines several months ago for inciting acts of terrorism against President Trump, where he made a YouTube video encouraging illegals to take to the streets and fight and start an all-out civil war against the president. As the liberal meltdown continues and their lunacy parade continues to get worse, it's only making things better for Trump's re-election efforts in 2020. So for that, thanks, Democrats for being out of control and letting everyone know you can't be trusted. There's only one reason why meltdowns of this magnitude persist and that's because they feel exposed and vulnerable that there are lies and scandals that are bad for America, but good for them aren't being kept a secret any longer. Trump should feel free to start planning his re-election parade. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.